Okay, so these are the two shea butter lotions that we're going to be designing the labels for. Make sure that you guys watch all the way to the end because I'm also going to show you how to print out your labels and how to actually adhere them to your product jars. So we're going to be making product labels for these two shea butter lotions using Canva. A lot of you guys have been asking me how to design your product labels using Canva for free. So this is that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, you wanna to go to Canva and we're gonna be making a custom label. So go to create a design at the top right hand side. If you have Canva Pro, you can actually make a custom size. So change your dimensions to inches and we're going to actually use the inches that are on our label. So our labels are four inches wide and five inches high. Create new design you should open up to a blank workspace. Now you can get completely creative with your labels. I'm gonna be showing you guys just a basic example of how you can design a label, what should go on your label, and how to use Canva to do so. So the first thing is I wanna change the background color. So I'm gonna scroll down to change it to a solid color. And actually after I changed it to the solid blue color, I decided I wanted to make it a little more interesting. Canva now has this new feature where you can actually make a gradient background. And I think that is so cute. So I'm gonna click one of these different gradient options and then change the two colors to sort of match the colors that are on the product. There's kind of like a purplish and then a blue tint in the Shea Butter Lotion. So this actually looks really good. You can play around with the design and the colors all day long, but here's what I came up with and I love it. So I came up with this purplish, bluish gradient effect. Next, what you wanna do is add a text box with your actual product name on it. Um, I'm gonna call my product Candy Dreams because it kinda of looks like cotton candy. It's giving me candy vibes, so I'm going with the candy name. Candy Dreams sound cute. So pick a font that stands out. You don't wanna pick a font that is too, too thin because when you print it out, it may look a little blurry or hard to read. So I try to go with the bolder font. Now you don't have to, but you can play around with it and see what works for printing, but I've, in my experience, noticed that when I do use like a smaller font, it kind of prints out a little bit more blurry and it's hard to read. So I'm gonna go into the effects and change this to a neon effect, then change the color from black to like a purplish pinkish color um, to make it look, I just wanted to match the background and look cute. So I decided to go from purple to pink. Yeah, this is like, you guys can just watch me do this, but I'm pretty much just playing around with the design and the intensity of this neon effect. You can make it more intense or less intense. I kind of go in the middle at about 70, and this is what that looks like. So now that you have your actual title, you want to have what the title of the product is. So if it's a body scrub, a body lotion, a body butter, um, a cream or something, put that underneath because you don't want your customer to get the product and not really know what it is, you know? That's just my preference, but I always include what the product is underneath the title or the name of the product. So you can see me adding body lotion under here and changing the color to a white color. I'm probably gonna end up changing this a little bit later, but this is what I got so far. Next, what I'm doing is going into the elements tab and I'm gonna add some line details to the top and bottom of our label. Here is where you get creative. You don't have to do this, but I'm kind of giving it like a, you know, like a standout effect so that I can put my actual business name in the middle of the lines. And just so that the product label doesn't look so flat and like plain, you want to give it some dimension. Um, what I recommend doing, honestly, you guys, is going on Canva and just playing around with different shapes, different colors, different font styles, um, all different sorts of elements and things that you can come up with to get your own label design to be as unique as possible. Or you Pinterest and gather some inspiration. Just make sure that you are not directly copying another brand. You want your logo and your um, product design to stand out amongst anybody's other products so that your customers will know it as soon as they see it. Oh, that is K Cosmetics. This is just a fake business thing that I came up with while making this, but you know what I mean? Like you don't want, you can get inspiration without directly copying another creator. And also from small business owner to small business owner, sometimes you might deter your customers from wanting to shop with you if they do notice that your brand looks exactly like someone else's. It happened to me before where someone I completely stole my entire logo design and everything about my business and tried to make it their own. 
it didn't go well for them because they recognized that. And a lot of people end up sending it to me like, hey, did you know there's this other brand that's kind of like mimicking yours? I could do a whole story time on that one day. But yeah, so now that and we've done at the top, we're going to go in and look in the elements tab again. And every single cosmetic product that you are selling should know when it's going to expire. And I don't see a lot of people do this. So type in cosmetic shelf life so that your customer will know from the time that they've purchased it how long they have until their product expires and they have a ton of different designs and options three months six months nine months 18 months 12 months for most body butter products it can last for a shelf life of up to 12 months but make sure that you check the expiration on the ingredients that you purchase and include that in it so say you purchase a body butter or say you purchase a bulk shea butter and from the time you purchase it, that shelf life was nine or 12 months. But by the time you put out your product, it has been three months. That means that your customer will only have nine months before their product expires, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, what I'm trying to say. But now I'm going and I'm adding some other pink lines under these black lines because I realized that it looked a little bit flat. And for the rest of this design, um, I couldn't really come up with a whole lot of other things, you guys. But Canva has so many different options. I highly recommend trying Canva Pro. Um, Canva Pro just has all the benefits of anything that you're trying to design. You you want the options to be able to do that. Like all these shelf life images that we just put are all pro. So you will have to have Canva Pro to use those unless you go to Google and like download one, you know, that's transparent. But save yourself the time and it's only $12 a month. It's really affordable. And since you are a small business owner, you're going to be posting on social media all the time and canva just girl it's, it's really everything so next i'm going to go and make sure that i have something that notifies the customer that this product is not tested on pets so here's something that i found just an example you don't have to include this but i do see a lot of larger brands making sure that they let their customers know about that so i'm kind of going off what i see and what i feel like is standard So again, just playing around with the orientation of everything. I'm going to kind of speed through the rest of this so that you guys can just watch me finish designing. If you have any other questions or you want to see another designing video, comment down below. Let me know if I wasn't going slow enough or if there's other questions that you guys may have relating to Canva designs. But yeah. so now that our labels are fully designed we just now went ahead to download them now we're going to get ready to print them so that we can actually add them to our jars so the first thing that we need to do is go to online labels and we're going to basically enter in our label design now here is the labels that I'm using you guys um, I will link all these down below for you guys but if y'all can see that this is the size. They're 4 inches by 5 inches. And the actual product name is OL475WX. So those are the labels that I purchased. And because they're long enough to actually fit on the jars, I think they're going to look perfect. So all you have to do is design a new label. Find blank labels and type in that product number OL475WX. And it will appear right here. Now... We've already downloaded our label and here's our blank workspace. So it's pretty simple. All you do is go over to your images, upload a new image, and then you click it and add it into your workspace. Now, it gets a little bit tricky because you do see this little caution right here that says artwork needs attention. When you click that, you need to absolutely make sure that your design 
fits safely inside of the bleed zone. Like you want to make sure that it's centered the right way so that when it prints, it prints out correctly. Um, <laughs> I've had a lot of different interesting struggles with this, but what I like to do, let me zoom in so y'all can see some more. What I like to do is make sure that I like broaden the label so that it fits outside of the bleed zone. That way your color goes all the way to the edge if that makes sense. And same thing for the bottom. Just make sure you fit it as best as you can. Sometimes you guys, because you're doing this yourself, I'm not even going to lie to you. You might have a little bit of a white border around it. But luckily with the pair of scissors, luckily with like a pair of scissors, you can go ahead and just, you know, trim around it if you need to. So I've already got everything lined up the way that I want it to be. Now you go to print. So go up to the print labels button and you want to click print now. Okay, it's going to ask if you want to download and print or print directly from your browser. I normally just print directly from the browser. It's easier. And you can see our labels are all lined up and they look so good. This was just an example label that I designed, you guys. This is not for any brand specifically. I literally just made this up to put it on these shea butter lotions and to show you guys how to design and print. So now I'm going to go ahead and click Command P. And in your print settings, I always recommend changing your quality to best. Um, doesn't matter which printer you're using, but make sure that you're printing out in the best quality that you can. And we're going to load the paper inside of my printer here. Make sure that it's in there good. And then I'll just hit print and we'll see. Okay, so here are what the labels look like once they're printed out. I think we did pretty good. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Here's our finished labels. Now, we're going to go ahead and put them on to the jars. Okay, and see how the full label is covered? There's no white border because we extended it. And if you can see, there is still like extra... The label was extended so you can see a little bit of it has come off of it but I kind of prefer that so that I make sure the whole entire label has the color especially if you're doing a color background if you're doing a white background that really wouldn't matter but let's see what it looks like on the jar Okay, so here is what the label design looks like once it's all printed out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. As you can see, since we printed it out with the quality on best, it does look very, very professionally done, I think. And we designed it for free using Canva. Now, I will link all the labels and things down below as well as these bottles. Anything else that you guys need me to link for you, I will do that. Just comment for me. Let me know that you need it. But I'm going to go ahead and put the other label on. Okay, so for instance, you can see on this side, there is a little bit of a white border. So I'm not going to use that one. Sometimes it happens and it's okay. You can really just go ahead and cut it off if you don't mind doing that. I've done that plenty of times before. Okay, let's see. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below and let me know if you guys want any other label designing or Canva tutorials. 
I will go ahead and get those videos filmed for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.